queen. Whoa. All right. Ooh. Hips tick tock when I dance on a demon time. She my start and only fans. This is how you know I'm starting to feel good. Hello guys, I am Jacqueline Joyce. Welcome to my channel. You can call me Jay. Hey friend. On my channel, I talk about a slew of things. I write for TV, I talk about that. I also talk about taking care of my mom who has Alzheimer's. I also stutter, I talk about that as well. But today, I am going to talk about leveling up. Literally over quarantine, I've just been really leveling up my beauty and all of the things that I've just kind of been wanting to do over time, but I just maybe haven't had the time to. So today I'm going to do a face full of Glossier. And I specifically chose Glossier number one reason why I spent my coin on Glossier is because right now they're actually giving grants up to $500,000 to black owned beauty brands. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, I don't mind giving you guys my coin because you support me and people like me. I am starting this video off fresh faced. But we're just gonna get into it because no need to beat around the bush, right? So this tutorial will not be super crazy long. So let me just go over all the stuff I'm gonna be using right now i'm going to be using the invisible shield glossier sunscreen the future do the perfecting skin tint and g4 and g5 the boy brow and the brow flick wowder and g4 and g5 through seven I'm also going to be using the Topaz Halo Scope, which is a br bronzer. And I'm gonna be using some cloud paint samples because your girl ran out of money by the time it was time to get some color on my face. So Glossier, if you guys like this video, hit me up. We can, we can do another one because you guys are my aesthetic completely. These two things are actually what I put on every day. If I don't put on like makeup, makeup, I always make sure I put on sunscreen because you have to protect your skin, guys. I know people will be like, but you black. You don't do skin cancer, don't care what color you are. It happens to everybody. So use your sunscreen. And then I also put on the Future Dew. It's like a natural glow. So this is actually pretty clear. It like, it's very lightweight, such a clean smell, and it doesn't leave a white cast on your skin. And brow girls, y'all know that sunscreen can just mess us up completely. And then I go to the Future Do. This is basically just like a all over the face shine. It's like a dewy look and I really like it for if I'm just gonna head to the store, not trying to impress anybody. It just keeps that little bit of extra shine. What's great is that you can wear this under your makeup also and it just kind of lets that little bit of shine seep through, which really works for me. Now for women with oily skin, I hear that this will probably not work for you. I have dry skin. My skin soaks up any and everything that I put into it. So, having this as a base actually helps to um, keep the integrity of makeup. So we're gonna go in with the skin tints. I actually have two colors because this Glossier customer service, y'all. So the customer service with Glossier is so fantastic because I actually had the lighter color, which would work for me in winter time, but it's not winter time. <laughs> and so I hit them up and I was like, hey, I actually think I got the wrong color. And they're like, no problem, just keep the color you have and then we'll send you another one. And I was like, oh, that's super awesome. And so they sent me the next shade, which really actually works really well for me. So now what I do is all of my lighter areas, I just kind of, you know, make sure that the tent goes there and I put more of the darker color on the outskirts, because as you can see, my 
forehead is a little bit darker, you know. No one's face is the exact same color and you don't want it to be because that takes all away all of the definition from your face. I literally learned that from Jackie Aina. Thank you, girl. Jackie, 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 Jackie. All right, so as you guys can see, this blends in seamlessly. It's just silky. I, I would literally go about my day like this. However, we're not going to because we have some concealers. These are the two colors that I have. Um, I think they both will actually work well. But, ooh, that looks light, huh? That looks really light, huh, guys? Uh, okay. I'm probably gonna have to mix this. A little dark spot right here. A little darker right here. However, I will say that even though it looks light, it's like melting into my skin very quickly. Oh, there we go. That's some good blending. So, you know, actually I think using two colors works really well. Because though it's very sheer, the concealers aren't as sheer. And so I think it actually helps a lot to just kind of be able to mix your colors. Okay, we're gonna go in under the eye because this is one of my problem areas. So I've actually just used this concealer and not mixed and it ended up blending into my skin really well. So, you know, in the end, I don't even think I needed the extra color but it does make for a way more perfect match. So I'm not mad about it, but you know, it just ended up blending out way better than I would have even imagined, but I do like mixing them. So I'm probably gonna put a little bit of this one on top just to blend it out a little bit more. So I do think that applying this particular makeup with your fingers just works well. Like it's just a very natural brand and the way you apply it, it just seems to like work better with your skin when it's just keep it all natural. Apply it with your hand, not a brush, not, you know, anything that will impede the process or the product itself. Yes, everything looks blended. Everything looks good. I feel good about this. I feel good about this. All right. I still feel like there's nothing on my skin right now after I put on all that makeup. And now we have Wouter. This is the lighter color. This is the G5 through G7 because I do like to keep it lighter in my in the center of my face. I'm just gonna just blot it down a little bit, especially under my eye because that's where a lot of the shine is. But I don't even think I need a lot of powder because like I said, my skin soaks up any oil that you put onto it. I have very dry skin. I'm just gonna put the darker powder on the outside just to add a little definition. Definition to my face. Take a little bit of the shine away so that I don't look like a hot, sweaty mess. Messapalooza. I still have a little bit under the eye that I can remove, huh? Let's get the light color again and do this again. There we go, all right. So now we're gonna do the brow flick. I love this specifically because it's like microblading without microblading. Guys, I'm gonna show you some microblading pictures of people who have got had their whole face ruined from microblading. And I wanted to get microblading done but it scares the crap out of me because you're gonna ruin your entire face. The entire structure of your face is dependent upon your eyebrows, like come on. So with this, just draw, draw, draw little flicks. Draw little flicks. I'm not a painter, but I know how I want my face to look. 
Yeah, I really like this because you can just kind of create the shape that you want, really. Just kind of fill it out more. Oh, I am a fan. Yes, sis. Look at the tail of my eyebrow. See how that tail is no, not there? See how that tail is almost not there? And this. Oh. Oh. All right. So now we're going to try this one. Just little sweeps. If you guys have had, oh, see, look at that tail. It looks so much better now. I often forget that your eyebrows are not twins, they're sisters. And so trying to make them perfectly match isn't always gonna happen. Now, the boy brow, it's a very thick formula. But what I love is that it really makes sure your eyebrow stays in place all day. Like the whole Glossier look seems to be very much so like, very chill here, but then your eyebrows are like brow, brow. <laughs> I said bow, brow, ah. Ooh, girl, you're corny. I'm corny. Corn, corn, corn. Brows on super fleek. Loving it. See, we're almost done. See how simple this face is? We gonna put the halo scope on. And then we're gonna put some lashes on. And we're gonna be done. So this is the halo scope. This is the bronzer. I actually don't know if I like this bronzer as much because I don't feel like it really shows up on my skin. If you guys see it, let me know. I don't think it really shows that. There is this other highlighter product that they have that I think I would like a lot more, but I just feel like this bronzer doesn't really show up on my skin. You tell me, let me see. Okay, no, I see that. No, let me just blend that out. All right, if you guys see it, let me know in the comment section because I'm still not sure if I should just get something else that works better. Oh, I really like the way this makeup came out today. Oh, look how simple it looks. I love it. I love it. So I'm just gonna put some lashes on real quick. And we're gonna be back and then we're done. So these are the Foscare lashes. I'm gonna put these on real quick. If you guys are interested in them, I'm gonna link the video to these Foscare lashes. I actually um, like them a lot. Yeah, this one keeps coming off. All right, we're just gonna fix that real quick and I'll get back to you guys. Here's my full face of Glossier, guys. I look dewy. I look natural. I look like I'm going to the beach, guys. I did put a little bit of my Kiehl's lip gloss on. I think it looks really beautiful. But I really do like this. I feel I'm not wearing a lot. I feel like everything matches. <laughs> my neck is matching my face and everything. I am going to powder myself out just a little bit more. But I think the eyelashes go perfectly. It's, it's very understated, simple. Who me? Who me? That's how I feel. Who me? Who me? <laughs> Guys, <laughs> go somewhere. I'm gonna powder a little bit, which is crazy because I don't use powder at all because my skin is so dry, but like with this, I totally can. And it looks completely okay. It looks good. I'm very happy. Very happy with Glossier. Thank you Glossier for supporting black brands. You know what I didn't do? A cloud paint. Let's do a cloud paint on the cheeks. So let's do the terracotta one. It's called Dawn. It's like a very orangey, woo. Whoa, all right. Ooh. Oh, I don't think I would have used this lip gloss had I put on the cloud paint first. Ooh, it actually blends in beautifully. I'm a savage. Classic bougie ratchet. 
hips tick tock when I dance on the demon top. She my starting only fans. This is how you know I'm starting to feel good. This is very orange. And you know, a little bit goes a long way, y'all. You can see all that orange, right? Is this too much orange? Ooh. So I took the kills off. Ooh, ooh, that orange is pretty. I might have to put some more bronzer on top, see what that would looks like. I have a Bobbi Brown pencil. It's just, it's almost the exact same color as my lip. And I don't put it in the middle so that the pink part is still there. You can still very clearly see the pink. Got too much drip. I must, and we're just gonna put some chapstick on top. <laughs> so, we're just gonna leave it here. I do really wanna try some more Glossier stuff though, so hopefully. I'll do another one of these with a whole other look. But this, this like terracotta color, oh, with this nude lip, oh. Gonna just do a little bit more bronzer right here. Oh, who do you think you are? And then like have the bronzer just kind of melt into the terracotta. <gasps> oh, you guys, you don't know me. You don't know my name. Baby, 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 you looking so damn fine. You hold glossy faces, bomb. Yeah, so what I love about this makeup is I can pretty much count on my face being moisturized all day, which is a plus for me. Ooh, dry skin girls are winning, because I swear we weren't for a good while. Everything was mattified, matte, 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 matte. Now get this dewy look, get this dewy look. Hey. All right, thank you guys for watching. You have a lovely day. Do something for yourself, make yourself feel pretty. It's necessary. This is what I'm doing. I might take some pictures today just cause. All right, you guys have a lovely day. Make sure you watch another video of mine. I got so many. You wanna know how these eyelashes got done? They got did? You wanna see how these eyelashes got did? I got a video about them. Look at them. Look at them up close. I love these. Look at them up close. You don't even know that these are extensions. Like who, who do you think you are? Peace, love, so. Nope, nope, nope. That's what my man would say. Nope, <laughs> shut it down.